Hello and welcome to another episode of Just Jordan Things. As you can see by the box sitting on my lap, I've been online shopping again. What better thing to do than unbox it and try on everything together? Let's do a try on haul. This is from the company ThreadUp. If you're unfamiliar with them, they're an online thrift store for clothing. It's amazing, it's brilliant. I've never shopped on there before. I mean, I've shopped on there, I've never purchased anything from there before. So today we're gonna go look through what I bought, what the cost was, what the quality is, and if I would buy again. All right, let's get to it. Let's open the box. As you can see on the website, they have a ton of clothes. There are a bunch of different styles to choose from. They have sales all the time. I've been intrigued for a long time on this website, just never bit the bullet and bought something. So today, today's the day. We're gonna try it. I am all for anything that gets rid of fast fashion because honestly, as convenient and cheap as it is, so Sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes when you have that one thing that you find that you really like, I get it. We all have bought something from the Sheens, the Wish, the Forever 21s. But again, when we have the opportunity, we should source more ethically. So I forgot what I bought. First thing, ooh, look at this dress. This is pretty. This is a Petal and Pup dress. I've never heard of this brand. This is what it looked like. It already feels like pretty good material. I don't know if it says on here. Hello, how are you? This is 100% polyester. Well, you win some, you lose some, but it doesn't feel like super cheap material. And there is a liner and there is this little like rubber to keep the girls in. You know, so let's try it on. Of course, I picked the most inconvenient outfit to be trying things on. <sighs> Say lovey. And here it is. I didn't tie it, but you get it. I love it. This is a fun summery dress. It's light, it's breezy, it's airy. It's got ruffly thingies on the bottom. I love it. This is a 10 out of 10. Very happy with this. What else is in the box? More dresses. This one is a wrap dress and I never have great luck with wrap dresses, even though I love them, but I'm just a, how do you say this? Throw caution to the wind kind of girl and forget that I'm wearing a dress that's literally open all the way up to the top. So we're gonna try it on. I'm probably gonna love it, but I'm gonna have to wear something under it. This one is a Mac Studio, which is a pretty good brand. 96% polyester, 4% spandex. So it's a little, little stretchy. Got a little stretch in there. All right, let's try this one on. All right, this one's super cute too. Love the length on this one and again super light airy summery dress perfect i love this so far we're going we're going pretty good on what it looked like online and then what it looks like irl love to hear your opinion as well please let me know this is this is the opportunity for you to tell me if you like these styles if you don't like these styles but uh pretty great i'm happy all right what's next i've been really into jumpsuits i'm gonna i'm not gonna say lately i'm gonna say it's been a long time but my favorite one just ripped broke got destroyed overloved whatever you would like we're gonna try some new ones i honestly have a terrible time with jumpsuits because of how disproportionate my torso is from the rest of my body like this is a medium length and then everything else is like different so we're gonna try it Hopefully I love it. It's it's pretty cute. I think I could wear it to work too. It's a very like businessy style outfit. This is a Tahari size two. I don't know what I am in most brands, but they do try to put the measurements on thread up. I'll show you an example of what that looks like. It's very helpful, you know, when I actually have the wherewithal to measure myself and know my own measurements. But we're gonna try it on. We're gonna see if it's true to size. All right, all right. It looks, it's fitting, it's fitting all right. There's this little like, when you bend over this little weird gap here, but I feel like that's just what you get when you wear looser fitting slacks. Don't walk like this and you're fine. But but overall, I like it. Little tight towards the back and it's a little uh, ankle, ankle crap, but that's okay. That's okay. Cause I think it's supposed to be a little bit shorter. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. This is like an eight, eight out of 10. It does have a built-in belt. So that's not going anywhere in the wash. That's pretty nice. I'm never gonna lose it. And it's a, like a thicker businessy suit material type, if you will. So still pretty happy. What's next? Another jumper. I couldn't resist. I'm all on board the jumper train. And this one, this one has pockets. Oh, this one has pockets. All about the pockets. One clothing. Now I've seen this brand before. It is a cheaper brand, but this is like a, like thicker, maybe not that thick, but it's like a, a woven cottony material. Where's the... It doesn't have one. But again, I'm here for the style, not for the name brand. So let's try it on. All right, the belt on backwards and I'm too lazy to turn it around right now, but I'm honestly loving this one. This one is supposed to be a higher cut. It's supposed to be like a, what are those cutoffs? No, crop top, no. Capris, capri cut. Light, fun, airy, breathable, 
summer gardening. That's kind of what I got this for. It's like a gardening outfit. It's awesome. I love it. 10 out of 10. This is so comfy. You can like dress it up, dress it down. Perfect. What else did I get? Honestly, we're on a roll. This is fantastic. I'm loving this. So far, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be ordering from Thread Up again. And the great thing is they have styles all the way up the brand, designer, fashion, hierarchy, if you will, and all the way down. So they've got every single price range, every single event you could need an outfit for. I'm out of breath. And the best part is, hear this. You can search for things. That's one thing you can't do at the thrift store. You gotta dig at the thrift store. On here, you're digging, but it's a much more clean and efficient dig, if you know what I mean. This next one is Emery Park. And this one looks almost identical to the jumpsuit that shall not be named, rest in peace. It's another jumpsuit. It's orange stripes this time, and it's got a cross back. This one's definitely a summer. Let's try it on. All right, this one's a little tight. We're a little too long in the torso for this one. No pockets. I still really like it, just not for me. I'm too tall for this, uh, but it's it's great. And the other thing about this, so they have this kind of AI thing, I think. I don't know if it's actually AI, but it selects like items that you can like shop from, I guess, if you will. So if you're looking for a specific style or if you're looking at a certain piece of clothing, they'll generate a ton of other listings that are similar to the one that you were looking at. I think that's what happened with this one, but this one's not for me. The great thing is you can actually send clothes in to thread up to list and sell on there, which I will be doing after this because I have a whole ton of things that I need to clear out of my closet. I will be sending stuff to the Good Stuff Thrift Store to shop from as well, from my closet. So if you're there and you see clothes, they're probably from me. Well, I mean, in the boutique section, not in the, the general section. I donate stuff too though, so it's probably probably for me. And no, this video is not sponsored, but uh, I'd be open to it if any of the thread people are watching. I have to go to Italy and buy outfits for a wedding. Just saying. What's next? This is the clothing company. Never heard of them. Another jumpsuit. I now realize I may have been on a little bit of a, a jumpsuit binge. I get it. I get it. Let's try it on. Don't blame me for how many jumpsuits I own. Blame the convenience of the piece of clothing. This is like one step up from dresses. Dresses are the ultimate lazy clothing. You think someone's dressed up because they're wearing a dress? No. That is the easiest thing to just throw on when you're, you're lazy in the morning. This, this is only like a slight step up from that. It is a top and pants all in one. I don't have to coordinate an outfit. I don't have to make sure things match. I don't have to worry about clashing prints. If I really wanted to, I could throw a belt on, make it look like super dressy, fancy, like I tried. I did not. I am basically wearing pajamas. This honestly, it feels like pajamas. It's stretchy, it's soft. The legs are a little flared at the bottom. This one's pretty cute. And again, with a little belt, looks super dressy. Fantastic, love it. 10 out of 10. What's next? All right, we've got two items left, a pair of jeans and a sweater. Don't wear jumpsuits when you go out to shop for clothes. That's your PSA, that's your PSA. Cause then you have to get naked in the dressing room. You can try on other things. This is a Zara cardigan and I've heard mixed things from Zara. They have both high end and low end quality. This is really comfy. It's a little frayed. So my thought was because of the price that I paid for it, I wouldn't mind taking my little tool that I have that kind of like shades off stuff to this to see if I can spruce it up, make it fit better, make it look better, make it renewed, if you will. It's a little itchy. Definitely a warm winter clothing item, not not, not a middle of summer item. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this off. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I like this. I like the big chunky knit. One day, and you can keep me accountable to this. One day I will be able to knit something like this. I don't know if it's this year. I don't know if it's next year. I don't know if it's in 10 years, but one day you will see me wearing something like this that I have made from these hands. Okay, next item, la pants. All right, la pants are a little la tight in the waist area. Honestly, it's so hard buying clothes online because I think I'm one size and then I get that size and they're like, no, 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 actually we're in, you know, a diff we're on moon size standards. So sorry. Like what? I should be the same waist size based on a measuring tape, not based on whatever standard your brand decided to go with that day. But alas, I do feel like I can use the little like wet jean trick and stretch out the waistband a little bit maybe like soak them in some softener make them fit because they're cute i like them i'm trying to get out of the millennial skinny jean trend phase it's hard it's hard all of my jeans are skinny jeans i need an alternative let me put my regular clothes back on because i'm overheating in this one second all right we did it so what do you think i want to know your thoughts would you try thrifting online does it defeat the purpose of actually thrifting i think i would do it again i would definitely shop on thread up again i'm super happy with everything that i ordered but don't worry i will still be going and doing in-person thrifting videos because because love a good treasure hunt. Thank you for liking and subscribing, being along for this journey, and uh, leave suggestions for what you want me to review next. See you next time.